Hello there, YouTube and BitChute. Eric McRae, Asparagus Party here. Um, so very recently, the world-famous clinical psychologist Jordan B. Peterson came under a unprecedented attack at the behest of a lot of woke policy pushers within the uh, realm of the psychological studies community. The College of Psychologists of Ontario has effectively threatened Jordan Peterson with this ultimatum that if he will not submit to a retraining program, then his uh, license as a clinical psychologist would be uh, revoked, or at least this is what they're pushing for in the very least. And um, it's obviously very corrupt. The retraining is basically, obviously, the interjecting of an acceptance of woke ideology and nothing more than that. Um, this is nothing more than an obviously very cheap um, power play, authority play type of thing from what is obviously a uh, rather corrupted organization um, with a council of some pretty weak-minded people, unfortunately, with the amount of uh, support this has had, which is rather disappointing. First, let's highlight the reason. Why is this happening? Well, it's a simple principle, and I'll give you a quote from the Bible that explains it rather well. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. Um, these people obviously realize that Jordan B. Peterson has become effectively a world leader of speaking in one's own defense without resorting to vulgarity and has set a fantastic example and they do not like it. They see it's having such a profound effect on their power over the hearts and minds of people. He's exposed so much falsehood um, in this uh, woke ideological system and the errors of the Marxists that um, uh, it's obviously something intolerable for them to leave him unchecked. So they're trying to remove him from his position of influence. And honestly, I suspect this will very much backfire. I don't think it's going to go the way they want it to. Um, but it is telling of the general status of you know, the kind of corrupt state of the community of, you know, psychologists and especially of psychiatrists as well. Um, every field of psychological study, it's been subject to this infiltration of these radical Darwino Marxists. So it's like, you know, we could tell that as much from Dr. Brock Kissom's uh, quote, obviously. Uh, so it's not really surprising at all. This is all just more of the vain attempts of the moral relativists and their desire to hold on to power at all costs, even though they themselves factually know, according to data and statistics, that their policy on how to conceptualize good and evil, which their policy is basically to say that there is no such thing, you don't need to worry about it, it has made people sick, it has gotten people killed, and people are fed up of hearing it. They're tired of being lied to and taken advantage of, and they're tired of very sick, over-wealthy, corrupt powers taking advantage of the vulnerable and indoctrinating children who have no hope and no chance with these, these false teachings that's just going to destroy their life. Um, so, you know, that's what it all is. This is what this is all about. You're, you're watching nothing more than a physical manifestation of the actual real battle between good and evil. And in this case, the evil is obviously this sick, radical left ideology um, and all its love of this foolish, silly concept, this childish concept of, you know, Communist Manifesto Chapter 2, abolition of religion, abolition of morality, abolition of family, you know, it, it's it's childish and it's it's just time for people to accept that that has no place in society. Um, it's just a, a garbage can ideology. So, um, you know, for me, this is an interesting event and I want to expressly state that I side with Dr. Jordan B. Peterson and I stand 100% with Jordan B. Peterson through this. You know, I can't say that he was the effective blue pill, red pill um, 
catalyst for my life. I'm afraid that more of that would probably be given as credit to um, uh, Daniel Joseph of Corner Fringe Ministries, but on the same hand, Jordan B. Peterson has had at points that red pill, blue pill kind of effect for certain segments of my life and my thinking, not for the whole thing, not necessarily for the largest part, but certainly for a pretty significant portion this man has had a very profound and powerful effect upon me, even though we've never met in real life or even exchanged a word through any meeting or online video meeting. To put this in perspective, I've gone through a heck of a lot of suffering in the past three or four years, not just because of the COVID thing, but because of a lot of situations tying together with basically perfect timing. Um, to maximize pain and suffering on a, in a mental and emotional sense in the very least. And, you know, there were so many numerous times that I desperately wished I had um, a therapist I could visit, and uh, namely just one that would listen to me talk about my issues without too much uh, judgment or arrogance. And of all the people I would have trusted to do this, there would be no one I would have trusted more than Jordan B. Peterson. In fact, if I had more funds during this period, um, more monetary um, components, I probably would have purchased his services. Um, so I hold this man in a very high regard. But as for the Ontario College of Psychologists, I do not hold them in a high regard because this is an institute that is clearly filled with a few type of people. One, you obviously have some people in high power positions or high influence positions in the organization that clearly they're just drinking out of the sickly infested sludge refuse water that is Communist Manifesto Marx and Engels. Um, you know, it's just time to let it go there is such a thing as good and evil and it's just you've got to grow up eventually and let go of the ideology of bearded lunatics from the 19th century because it's like it's just not standing the test of time and it's time to grow up um, but there are others i'm disappointed with because the structure of what happens in an event like this is pretty predictable you have those influencers and people moving this in emotion and it can be a lot it can start in a lot of ways for example you could have a person who is a husband and his wife institutes it or a person who's a wife and her husband starts this up um, it can oftentimes the influence builds up and starts from a pressure from something that's not even a part of the organization um, but regardless the fact is it does start up or from somebody in high up there and it gets to a point where the influence reaches somebody who's in control of the funds, so to speak, someone who's in control uh, to a large degree of the organization or holds a large amount of control of it. And um, they start using this power to do what? To intimidate. You should all be very familiar with this. Just a couple of months ago, not very long ago, this is the exact same position that Jordan Peterson's in right now. You were in this position with regards to COVID vaccines. This is the same kind of coercion, the same kind of intimidation, and clearly some people who could have performed better, because uh, I guarantee you in this organization, of all the people who are signing on for this, 100%, not everybody there feels good about this, even if they don't say it. It's one of those things where you kind of just know there is no way all of them are certified hardcore Marxists of that much commitment level. Some of them are just going along with it because they know if they tick the side of Jordan B. Peterson, the fury and the wrath of the corrupt people becomes on them. But what I know for a fact is that if you make peace with corruption and accept the mutually agreed upon bribe that the wrath of the corrupt force, the wrath of evil, will be directed away from you at the cost of singling out your contemporary, 
you will pay the piper on that and that is kind of a reference to a video Jordan B. Peterson made but it's actually a fact of life that I've simply observed when you side with the betrayer you end up betrayed when you side with the force of evil once all the primary threats are out of the way it's not long before it turns its eye to you for evil or for abuse um, so this strategy will always be regretted by the people who are simply giving in to the coercion and the intimidation just as the bible expressly states that you resist the devil then he's going to flee from you you do not capitulate uh, the devil um, so these agents of corruption in this organization the right protocol was to tell them you're no authority when they overstepped their authority and thought too highly of themselves and when people don't have the courage to do that society starts going a direction that's wrong factually the more these organizations prop themselves up on the mere basis of what's become nothing more than a mere title and a name but no longer have the character the conduct or the truthfulness to live up to that name or title that organization ceases to bear legitimate authority on earth the fact is if this organization if these people took away Jordan B Peterson's license of clinical psychology he would not cease to be a clinical psychologist in fact it might not even affect him in the slightest because many people would still be happy to purchase his counsel and his time over theirs regardless of their fancy flying tactics and their attempted authority lording it's not going to get very far but the fact is people fall for this trick many of the universities and colleges are scarcely competent and good genuinely well-educated helpful professors are actually very often few and far between and that is a fact so you have a lot of students investing fifty thousand dollars to learn a course that often is not worth even a fraction of that value and we pay a lot into the pockets of some bloated professors that are often not giving us the value of the dollar they're charging back um, so in reality this move whether it succeeds or fails from the perspective of how those people against Jordan B Peterson um, define success in my eyes it has already completely failed in fact we can say that this move of the Ontario College of Psychologists has only succeeded in just one thing by causing the psychologists who are now worshipping Karl Marx to reveal themselves by going on to Twitter and to start expressing their radical views and support of this move we now have faces and names and we now know who to bother who to message on Twitter and who to disrespect Karl Marx in front of with boldness so I'm glad that we have a renewed opportunity to shame the pathetic and sickly worthless specter of Karl Marx some more to his chief worshippers I am glad for this and I welcome the opportunity and I know that Jordan B Peterson will get through this probably better than he's ever been despite this silly attempt of these childish wannabe psychologists. That's it.